Hello, this is TK Tahmina Khan. Today I have come to explain to you the topic integration of A-level mathematics, pure P3. Uh, first of all, we will see the concepts we will cover in the syllabus so that you have an idea what you should know when this topic is finished, what you should be able to do. And before I start, I would like to tell you that I have not taken any example by myself. I have taken them from different various books. Okay, so first of all, the expectation is that you should know the integration of all the basic functions you have learned in the previous years in 11 or in um, first year. Second thing is, in integration, we will use trigonometric ratios, double angle, formula to change the function, the form of the function, and then we will integrate. Second thing, um, third, rational function integration by the decomposition into partial fraction method. And then we will recognize the function. If it is given in this form, we will apply this formula. And we will see integration by parts integration by substitution and trapezium rule. Till integration by parts, I have covered explanation in three videos and I will give the link of each video in the description below so that you can go directly to the next video in continuation of the concept. So first let's see a few examples to revise the integration of the functions like polynomial, trigonometry and exponential. So this is, an ex this is an example of simple polynomial x power 5. As we know that when we are integrating, we increase the power by 1 and divide it by the increased power. So same thing I am doing. It has no limits here, so it is called indefinite integral. The next example is of the same function with the uh, limit 0 to 1. So now we are applying limit here. When we do not write limit, we write c where c represent arbitrary constant and we apply limit it cancels out let's see another example when it is given in this form fractional form and you can change it into single terms you do so and then you apply integration on individual term like here i'm increasing the power by, by one and then divided by increased power. So this is the second example. Now let's come to some standard integrals which are also called integration by recognition and these also we have done before quite a few of them. For example sine kx if I want to integrate it. So it will be integration of sine will be cos it's a reverse minus cos and angle kx k will come in the denominator so all this we already know so we don't need to show any working to prove them we just write the direct answers here and this is called integration by recognition because we know that the differentiation of tan x is sec square therefore integration of sec square will be tan x now this is a composite function when you have a power on the top in your course you will have here linear function when it will not be there will be another method used so if this method is applied you will have a linear function here let's see this example of the some standard integration we have just spoken about 2 cos 2x so integration of cos is sine and the coefficient of x here will 2 it will go into the denominator this 2 is going out of the integral because integration will not apply on it. It is just a multiple. So we will get this answer. Let's see a case of composite function. We have power 6. When I will integrate it, I am taking half outside, increasing the power by 1 and divided by the increased power and the coefficient of x here which is minus 4 and hence I get this integration. Let's see the third case. This is a case of identity. We know 1 over cos square x is equal to sec square x and 
we know that sec square x is the differentiation of tan so it's a reverse process so I will get half tan x plus c so this is the basic integration now this is the example when we are using double angle identity so integration of sin square x or cos square x will be solved by this method now we know that cos 2 theta is equals to cos square theta minus sin square theta or 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square theta all this will be given to you in mf9 so using this um, double angle identity i will make sin square theta a subject and i will get 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so now i will replace the sin square x by the identity i have gotten here and then i am simply applying integration on 1 and cos 2x and I will get this answer now we will see integration of an exponential function this is also we have done in earlier years so here is the integration of exponential function the function comes as it is and divided by a the coefficient of x again this method is applicable when you have a linear function here otherwise there is another method actually the process work behind is of chain rule I'm not going into detail of it and we don't need it as a derivative or uh, to prove it so we just uh, learn this direct application of it now let's see the example where we apply it for example the question is I'm taking a, an example of definite integral here so e power 2x plus 1 so according to this formula it will be half e 2x plus 1 and I will apply the limit 0 to 2 on it so we know we do upper limit minus lower limit so I will get this answer you can leave answer in e form or you can leave it in the um, decimal form three significant figure I have taken three decimal places but it depends what is the requirement of the question now let's take the integration of the form where you have fraction and numerator has differentiation of denominator then your answer of integration will be log of denominator the function so let's see an example here now suppose this is the function I have the differentiation of x is 1 so it means the differentiation of function is present in numerator so my answer will be ln modulus x plus c let's see another example here if I differentiate this denominator my answer will be 3 whereas in the numerator I have 6 so I can break 6 into 2 into 3 so 3 I will keep inside 2 outside so now the differentiation of the denominator is present in the numerator so now it will become 2 ln modulus 1 plus 3x according to this formula so now this is case number two now let's see case three example three I have to integrate this function now the differentiation of this is minus one whereas in the numerator I have one so if I want to keep minus one here what will I do I will put one minus outside because minus minus becomes plus we cannot change the question but we are just changing the form of it so according to a need I'm keeping minus one here so now I can take it as ln of 1 minus x plus c. So this is the integration. Let's see example number uh, d, tan x dx. Now I will explain only integration of tan x. You will try integration of cot x on the same line. Right? So in place of tan x, I will use the identity sin x over cos x. Now the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. I have only sin x so I will keep 1 minus here 1 here so that I have the differentiation of denominator in the numerator so now I can use this form so I have gotten here the answer now let's see the importance of modulus we write along log what is the importance I have taken here a function 1 over 2x minus 3 and I have sketched a graph of it roughly just to give a better uh, understanding 
So suppose I'm taking a limit for this graph from 4 to 5 and minus 1 to 1. So the shaded area I have to cover. So first I have taken the example of the limit 4 to 5 to find the area covered under the graph uh, between the limit 4 and 5. So here I have integrated it. Now the differentiation of 2x minus 3 is 2. I don't have 2 here. So what will I do? I will definitely multiply and divide by 2 and 2 I'm keeping inside, the other 2 outside. So you can see if this 2 goes out, 2 over 2 is 1 and I will get the question back. So I'm changing the form of the question according to the need. So now after that, because the differentiation of this is present here, so I will write half ln this whole thing. Now either I write modulus here or not, let's see what happened in this case. Now I'm applying the limit, upper limit and lower limit which is 5 and 4 and I got half ln 7 minus ln 5. I got the answer, no issue in this case, right? Either I write modulus or not. Let's see the other case. When I have the limits minus 1 to 1, then what happens? Now exactly the same um, function I will get after integration which I have gotten here because it's the same uh, curve, only the limits are changing now. So now when I'm applying limit here, 1 and then minus 1, I will get this answer because first apply 1 here, 2 1 is 2 minus 3 is minus 1, then apply minus 1 here, so minus 1 and 2 is minus 2, minus 3 is minus 5. Now log of negative doesn't exist, so it means I cannot get the answer of this question, but graphically the area exists and when I'm integrating I should get the answer. I can't say it doesn't exist, right? So that's why we write modulus because modulus only takes numeral value and ignore the negative sign. It's a absolute value basically. So now I'm getting this answer here. Um, so this answer I'm getting, the negative sign is uh, very much okay because the area is under the uh, curve, sorry, under the x-axis. So when you have an area under the x-axis, between the curve and the x-axis below the x-axis then it is negative so it is just an indication so if you have to tell the area you will only say 0 0.805 now i will uh, explain the rest of the concept in my next video thank you very much for watching it and if you have learned something from it i would like you to please press like and subscribe the button and bell as well and i'm i would be very grateful to you and I am um, writing down the link of the second video in the description. Thank you very much for watching.